Good morning, everybody. I am Dr. Amitesh Kumar Jha, Plastic Reconstructive and Hair Transplant Surgeon. Today, I will be talking about a common subject that is hair transplantation and treatment of hair loss. Now, I get a lot of queries every day regarding treatment of hair loss. And most common query that I receive is uh, whether hair loss is treatable or not. Now, I would like to say that hair loss is a treatable disease now. There are a lot of options to treat hair loss. Second most common is what are the methods of, of treatment of hair loss. So depending upon the grade of the baldness that the person is having, we can uh, treat the hair loss by either medical treatment or surgical treatment. Two most common med uh, medical treatment of hair loss that is being used nowadays, first is minoxidil. It is applied to the scalp and uh, the results are very nice but only one has to be patient to see the results. Number two are there are some medicine, medicines or medications like finasteride which can be taken. These uh, medicines or uh, minoxidil will work um, uh, to improve the hair loss condition. Now third treatment that is most commonly advertised and is used is the PRP, platelet rich plasma. Now I would like to mention that uh, the role of PRP in hair loss is mainly in areas in which one is already having root hair roots. In places where there is no hair, there is no use of using PRP. So some people they advocate PRP even in areas where there is total baldness, actually this is not going to work. So one has to have some amount of hair roots so that PRP works, it makes the roots uh, stronger and some amount of hair regain can be done. Now if there is permanent loss of hair, the only treatment for hair that covering that area is uh, hair transplantation. Again there are a lot of myths and uh, misconception about hair transplantation regarding how it is done, whether it is risky or not, what is the outcome. So nowadays hair transplantation has evolved uh, into a much safer procedure. It is a daycare procedure done under local anesthesia. Uh, the results are very good, it provided you get it done by an experienced uh, hair transplant surgeon. The two methods of uh, doing a hair transplantation first is the FUT that is the follicular unit transfer or the strip method in which we take a portion of scalp from the back with the hair, all the individual hair follicles are removed from it and they are transplanted to the recipient site or the area where there is no hair. Another method is FUE in which individual hair follicles are removed individually from the back and they are transplanted to the ball area. Now which method is better? Some people suggest that FUE is a scarless technique and it is better than FUT. The fact is both are equally important and depends on how much hair is required to cover the area. Suppose the graft requirement is more than 4000. It is very difficult to get that much of hair only by using FUE. So we have to combine FUT with FUE method. These both methods are used for uh, taking the grafts. Now the method of transplantation in both is the same. Uh, it can be either by directly implanting or now DHI technique has been advocated. Again does not have many much advantage about the conventional technique. So uh, I would like to mention that hair loss is a treatable condition. It is a hair transplantation is a safe procedure. It is done under local anesthesia and uh, outcomes are very good. You should get your hair transplantation done by experienced hair transplant center. And uh, I'll be coming to the all the points which I've mentioned earlier in individual videos later. Uh, thank you for giving me a patient listening. I will be back with the more detailed uh, explanation about all the medical treatment and surgical treatment of hair loss. Thank you.